everyone, today we are making a chicken pot pie. I have got some vegetables left over in the fridge from use throughout the week. So a chicken pot pie is always great for um, the use of all that vegetable that's too good to be thrown away and just whatever's left over. Uh, what I've got here is 500 grams of chicken thighs that's been cut up into cubes. I've also got two tablespoons of plain flour and that's to coat the chicken in and we're going to pre-cook that first. I've also got a medium brown onion which will finely dice. I've got 200 grams of um, field mushroom and they're organic and I, <laughs> I actually forgot about them so it's a good thing they were there. Um, three carrots that's been diced up as well. I've also got celery and that's about four sticks of celery that I was using for something else throughout the week and um, yeah getting rid of it now so that's been sliced up too. I've got some leek as well so one leek which I finally uh, sliced and I had some parsnip left over from a roast that I was doing so that's been cut into little cubes as well and I'll just mix it through. I've also got some corn kernels that I was going to use for something else, but because I've opened it, I was just, I was just going to add it into this. Garlic for, um, for cooking up of all the ingredients beforehand, and I'm going to be using about four cloves of garlic. I've also got uh, egg, the one egg for the egg wash for the sheet of um, puff pastry that I'll be using. Uh, some butter to cook everything up in. I've got two cubes of chicken stock that's been diluted in about 500 ml of um, hot water, stir it up so that you've got the chicken stock there. I'm going to be using half a glass of, um, sorry, half a cup of dry white wine as well as part of this recipe. What else have I got? Um, oh, and salt and pepper to taste. Now, a friend of mine from ages ago, he mentioned that the secret to a good chicken pot pie was actually time. So not the time in the oven, but the, the herb. And that sort of enhances all the chicken flavor and also the, the vegetables as well. So I've got about half a teaspoon of thyme in here. Um, and lastly, what I'm gonna be using in this recipe is I've got some double cream brie that I will be using about maybe a spoonful to melt it into the mixture. Um, you can actually use tasty cheese or cheddar cheese or um, the best I have found is actually parmesan because it's got that sharpness and it actually helps with the sauce of the, the sauce of the pie so it's like nice and creamy. So we're going to start with coating the chicken in the plain flour. Um, just lightly, evenly coat the chicken. This will help with the browning of the chicken when we pan fry it up first before we add everything else in. Uh, the flour itself will also help with um, the absorption of all the flavours when we add in the veg vegetables and the um, stock. And it helps with when we put the pie into the oven, the thickening of the liquid so that the chicken pot pie is nice and creamy. So the chicken has been evenly coated in the flour. What I have done is I preheated the oven to 185 degrees Celsius in a fan force oven. Um, and then what I will do now is basically brown everything up. So butter into the pan first and then add in the garlic and the onions as per normal and then the chicken. So start browning the chicken first and let it cook through a bit and then that's when I'll start adding in all the vegetables along with the stock. Um, I guess it doesn't have to spend too, the pie itself doesn't have to spend too much time in the oven because all the ingredients would have already been cooked pretty much and we are putting it in the oven to let the stock uh, absorb through and create that creaminess in the pie and also let the puff pastry puff. What I'll do now is then add in the chicken and we'll start browning the chicken so that it's almost about 80% cooked. So the chicken's about 80% done and you can see that most of the chunkier, bigger pieces have um, sort of turned white and they're sort of mostly cooked. 
I've got some of the little pieces that are still pink, so don't worry too much about that because again, you're gonna be popping that into the oven anyway to let it cook further. Now, as I was cooking through, um, obviously a lot of the, um, the chicken was beginning to stick to the bottom of the pot, so I kept scraping it, but I also added in a little bit more butter just to sort of smooth it all out. Uh, what I've also done that's, that's a bit of an alteration to the method was I kept adding bits and parts of the chicken stock into the chicken while I'm cooking it so that that way it's still absorbing all the flavour as well and, and it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Um, with that, what I'll do now is stir in the rest of the chicken stock, um, stir that all in and then once it comes to a little bit of a bubble, um, then I will be adding in the carrots first because that needs to soften and then once the carrot goes in and it starts to soften a bit the celery goes in and that's probably going to be cooked for um, about two or three minutes then I will add in the mushroom stir that through and what I'll do is also the leek and um, because I had a bit of the parsley but at the same time I'll stir that through corn goes in last um, the cheese also goes in last a bit of cheese just making sure it melts through and um, once that's all done, I will then turn off the heat and then stir through the thyme, the salt, the pepper. And right before I put it into the oven, I will stir in the white wine as well. So that's all done now. The, I've turned off the heat and let it cool for about 10 minutes so that when I put the pastry on, it's all bubbly away. Because it's been cooled down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it through once before I put the pastry on and that way you won't get that little um, the film on top. With this, you can if you've got little individual Remingtons or individual cast iron pots, you can spoon that out and then put the pastry on top. I don't, so I'm using the whole pot. And obviously, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of the the chicken pot uh, with the sort of amount of pastry that I'm covering it with. So what you could also do, or what I will do, is after you know you finish the pastry with it. I can freeze it up so into individual boxes and then during the week I can always just heat it up and have it with um, some bread or even like plain pasta filled it is really nice as well. Um, I had some pastry left over from when I was making puffs so it's not enough to sort of cover everything but I also have a big square one that I'll be using on top of. I accidentally broke it as I was taking it out of the freezer. Now, some people with the full square one, they like to sort of measure it and cut around so it's nice and even. I don't like the wastage, so I'm just going to use the whole sheet. And um, with the leftover sheet as well, I'm just going to layer it on top. That way, um, there's enough pastry to go with the pie. What I'll do first is also, I'm going to poke the holes on top of the pastry sheet so that it lets the air out as it's baking. Um, this, this way, when the air bubbles are released, it's fine because if you don't, it's going to break open the pastry as you're baking it. Um, don't forget your egg wash. So one egg, break it up and then um, brush it on top of the pastry sort of halfway through the baking process and that will give it that nice golden brown. Now the ingredients are mostly already cooked in the pot so we actually don't need that much time in the oven. It's only for the puff pastry to puff up. Okay, so this is all covered nicely. <laughs> and I'm gonna chuck this in the oven for 20 minutes, but checking at the 10 minute mark to uh, brush the egg wash on top. So it's been 20 minutes and I've taken it out of the oven. The pastry has turned a beautiful golden brown. At approximately 10 minutes was when I brushed on the egg wash and then popped that back in for another 20 minutes. Uh, sadly though, it is very, very flat and that was because I went a little bit too much with the fork and poking the holes to release the air and also not realising that the edge of the pastry here broke off from the top so that released a lot more air than I wanted. Um, so I guess next time, yeah, just go a bit easy on that. And I'm serving it up with my favourite, uh, with a glass of my favourite Austrian Riesling. It's nice and dry. If you prefer red, um, I would probably suggest like a nice Pinot, so that's light enough, but that's on, on, the, on the red side. 
um, the coated chicken, the chicken that was coated in flour, add it with the mushroom and also when we stirred in that cheese as well, that is enough to give it a bit of that texture and richness um, in the body of the pie, so, um, which will then complement the pinot well.